What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off where we left off, we've been sparring with the Persian Empire to the northeast, and we have drawn them into battle to protect the city of Yaravan. So without further ado, let us fight. So we've got to make sure we move to the left. Um, the garrison that is attacking us has been depleted, so... There's no real concerns about... Well, I'm not... So, it's actually quite handy. So we can avoid all the rough terrain of the, of the city. Deploy our main gun, looking over here. Deploy a strong wing of infantry out here. Well, as strong as you can get deploying fellow in infantry. These fellow and these Seminis can cover the right flank just. These guys can have the Bashis behind them. Well, those guys can have the fellow these guys can have the Bashi Bazooks. Seminis can hold the right flank as reinforcements of sorts. General holds in the centre. Line infantry equipped with. I need to move my lamp. It's blocking. Blocking the message. Okay, so let's make more of an... Because they are coming on... Directly on the flanks. So let's make a more... Let's make a more concerted effort to make a... To have a... Sort of like a flank guard. Actually, I want one of my Israeli units in here for sure. You guys run in position these fellaheen. More or less, you guys just stay here ready. Bash of bazooks sit behind this line. Because they're gonna come right at us. So this force can be a bit more cavalier with spreading them out. Put some seminies behind that wall. Might be a bit strung out, but they've still got some troops to reinforce them. So the job of my Bashi Bazooks is to to just counter charge, counter charge them as they keep coming in. I have no doubt. These guys actually moving up. Yeah, they are just. I've got to remember they attacked us, so I'm not particularly concerned about making sure I charge on them. So we killed two Bashi Bazooks. Friendly fire. Terrible shots against the camels. God damn, hit a guy in the head. Three of them in the head. You guys form square with the Bashibazu position inside the square. The Fallin are going to open up and get the first volley off. Surprise! Oh, massive amount of damage. Let's change the cannon and fire to face against the nomads that are coming in behind. First volley. Oh, another headshot. Although they are more they are more overtly coming in against the cannons now. So ideally these guys form line and they open up. I'm actually tempted to do something like this. So that way we can still protect the right flank. What are you doing? Seminies. These guys can hang around here. Keep pounding the reinforcements because fortunately they're, the direction they're routing is very close to the edge of the map. Afghan hillmen, musketeers, 
We've got our own artillery. And our own garrison musketeers. Looks like they're coming in. Silly recording problems there. Switch to canister because the next time they reload they'll probably be in canister range. Everyone's going to be locked and loaded. These guys should also be able to open fire as well. Cast a shot from close range. Does a decent chunk of damage. Okay, let's expand. Stretch my line out a little bit like this. So I can get my fellow units in range of this Afghan hill unit, hillman unit. As the bulk of their fighting force starts to move up, let's make sure we've got our Seminis in there as well. Make sure we've got a Felaine in close range. There you go, they are engaging against the Hillmen. You guys can now target camera gunners over in this direction. It looks like they are starting to give up their position. They've got a unit of Felaine and a unit of Bakima. Bukima Levy, so we need to be careful with that. Cannons to shot camel gunners. Then start the camel shot. Cannons to shot the desert warriors. Bring on my bashies. Because these guys might have ideas. Feline, open up. It's so close. You should be opening up. There we go. Let's so commit a unit Feline to go and support this combo. These troops can now more specifically run up like this. Feline over here. Actually I, want, <clears throat> actually, I want this Feline unit over here because they're about to get charged by camel nomads. So, you guys counter charge. Get these musketeers over here. This last unit Feline should fall pretty quickly. The Camel Nomads are falling back. Supposedly winning decisively. My cannons are feeling a bit vulnerable. Better just keep firing your guns, sir. As much as you don't seem like you want to. Felina doing a good job against these camels. They're falling quickly. Okay, let's bring these guys over as reserves. Make sure everyone that has guns does not use them. Unfortunately, my cannons are bugged. Yes, 
just the one gun wants to fire, which is unfortunate. We are slowly picking them apart. Get my form square, get my bashies in. Bunch more camels are coming in. Bring the general over because these feline are feeling very uncomfortable. Fire this unit of camel gunners. Charging our bashies. Don't really care about what our camels can do. Because our guns are pretty much knackered, so I'm not really bothered about them. The neat thing about these guys is they are the. They are the. Um, this is the garrison that's currently being destroyed. Our gunners actually seem keen to chase after them. Come on, Feline, back you come. Spread these guys out just a little bit more to make sure I get even more guns. As the artillery continues to drop in. We get to picket their troops as they fall back, and it looks like this might be it. Everyone's falling back, and there's no reinforcements coming, so that's pretty neat. See if this is anywhere helped out. Okay, fire well off, fire well on. Nope, they're done for. Come on, Persia. You wanted to roll. Let's roll. Too bad about the guns, but this is why it's always handy to have more than one. So speed up the time because it's unclear. There they come. So we've got a we've got a very good field of fire. If they advance on this flank, they'll start to get shot in the flank by these guys. In fact, let's just push you guys up with your melee infantry in case they fancy charge, like these camels do. had fire by rank, you guys would be sorry. Soon, my precious. Gone so many, even you guys at this range. You can do you can do enough. Desert warriors are involved. They're not going to They might make it into into range, into charge range, but this is why we've got our melee troops. We're waiting for you guys to try it. As it is, you're being picked apart by our expert marksmen. see those camels back there. So they're about to, looks like they're about to break once more.
Yeah, my ceremonies are upset. Ceremonies pick at the camel guys instead. So I'm pretty content with the exchange that's happening. Might speed up a little bit more because. Yeah, it's understandable. My 70s are very upset about these camel gunners. Every volley they fire, their confidence goes down. Their morale goes down a lot. But they are starting to find they are. Oh, actually, these guys say they, they, they reckon they're winning. For now. Right now, it's a bit of attrition going on, and I've got the overall, I've got fire superiority. So when this unit falls, it's the garrison muskermen that'll take all of the damage. The closer they get, the better the better shots everyone gets. There we go. So this is how it starts. They fall and they fall. And these guys start to be upset, and so they all fall. Let's just speed up time a little bit more. They've gone, and they've gone. Everyone bar the 70s. Push up. And then let's make a... Melee troop second line. Looks like. Yeah, you guys put little put your little bayonets on. Okay, doke. And then let's just send my general forward to go and take out the guns. Hello. Chomp. Kill the gunners and then you guys. Done for. Close victory. That wasn't close. Not really. That was a nice win. Pushed them back. So we lost, except we lost a lot of men in that engagement. But what matters to me is that they lost more. Because we have a large and mighty empire, and they do not. So let's see what happens. Because I've not recorded this for a few days, so I've still got my general plans and strategies and things, but... In terms of details of things on the ground, I need to uh, check that out. But I think things have gone better this time. I've not got any annoying British armies attacking me, which has been pretty good. My my economy is growing quite well. I've got I'm quite well defended in all areas. Ooh, a scholar, eh? I've got two scholars. Damn it! I should really been keeping out keeping an eye out for this. Okay, he's got a doctorate, so let's get one of you to Kaiseri and one of you to Konya. And let's get Konya expanding. Okay, now let's check research. Stop building carbines, go on to military syllabus to get on to drill school and fly by rank. Konya, you can go on to Division of Labour. get the to get some happiness and to get the wealth growth it's not so much the trade stuff we're bothered about we can get ports which are put which are pretty handy for us because we've got a whole lot of ports okay you don't really need to be there anymore my agents are on the move so let's just keep them going ah yes another gentleman there we go let's get you to Konya. So, I fear these guys are going to be on the ra on the um, 
on the warpath for raiding, so let's combine my camels. Probably look at trying to back them up with something. And you guys can replenish with whatever you whatever you can left. You guys are pretty good. Go back to raid to Briz and get eyes on Azerbaijan. Not to attack, but just to be able to see what's going on, because we'll soon take it Yadavan. This army will advance on to Georgia in due course. Awesome. So what good diplomacy can we get going on? We're at war with Britain, but let's just try and... Yeah. They're unhappy, but... It's not going to really matter at the end of the day. Because we're going to invade them and conquer them and convert them. So let's hit end turn. Nope. Okay, the sound's back. But the key is, in this campaign, unlike my Italian States campaign, I'm not going to be stuck behind in the research game. That's going to be really valuable. And it's what I'm most concerned about in my um, soon-to-come Knights of St. John campaign, because you've only got one city, and the best cities to attack are on the... Well, the Barbary States. They're the best ones to attack, and you, I guess you end up pushing into the Ottoman Empire. Um, yeah, they're not. The Barbary States regions aren't good regions. Yep, so they keep, they're still pumping troops out. So if we can knock out... Yeah, you guys pull back. Let them raid. I'm, more, or more, I'm okay with letting them raid. I just don't want them to destroy the troops I've got yet. But if my army can knock out Georgia and I can get some sort of peace with the Russians, as temporary as it might be, that would be quite useful. So I could focus on Persia and Austria. I haven't got to worry about... Russian stacks coming down through the Caucasus. So that might be something to do earlier rather than later. Especially while I build up my economy. So yeah, we've been raiding an Erbil. So we've got a handful more guys. A bit of cavalry and a bit of infantry. Don't spend... I better reinforce this army or else things will go bad. Things could go quite badly wrong very quickly. Could do a Bay's Mansion. Could do a governor, Governor's Residence there, but it's not as worthwhile. Alexandria has a port. So let's try and build something there. And let's put a unit of Fellain in there to make sure the Brits don't raid it. Okay, let's check my ministers. You, this looks pretty good. Plus one treasury. Plus one management, plus one justice. Plus one management, minus one treasury. So we, those two cancel out for treasury. He's still... Three becomes... Four becomes five. So he's not better at either of these guys. But he's, he's a basic, he's... Oh, he's plus five basics. That's not too bad. If I saw it from my head, I can get that town plus one per turn town wealth growth. It's still a gain. How well are my towns growing now? Six. Six. Ankara's growing a lot. Jerusalem's barely growing. It's because you've not really got much of a we have got much of an economy to start with. We're about to get El soon to get Elat though, which is quite handy. Syria's got no no regions left. I guess just spend my money reinforcing and maybe bringing these guys back down south, just to start to head off these guys. God, that's all junk though. That's better, but that's junk. Um. Uh, Withstand it, let them take another turn of 
replenishment first. Because I don't want to send my guys out to fight. At least not right now. Because I'm only getting about... I'm getting less than 4,000 a turn. Which, for a country the size of this on the map, is nothing. Really, I've not been spending enough on industry. I need to start upgrading my workshops and things like that to start to bring in real money. Um, it's just so damn fun investing in the supporting assets, your cheap assets, and um, making sure that you can actually... Oh yeah, they're going to go down and raid Baghdad. That's okay. I should really start to try and see if I can warm up to piecing out with Russia now, actually. I mean, they probably won't let me, but... I've got to try, haven't I, really? Yeah, but you've raided my plantations. You're in range to halt those guys. Just go send these guys to try and knock out the raiding army. Yeah, let's fight it. See if I can... Um, worst case, I lose. Best case, I win. Probably with huge casualties. What I'm hoping is I can lure them into keeping... Keep charging my squares. That's what I'd like. So my infantry wants to go first. You have camels on each flank. A horseman in the centre. Critically, these... Oh, they are camel gunners. Well, most of them are camel gunners. Because they've only got a unit of desert warriors. So they can't... They can outrange me, but they won't... Okay. Bring our camels back. Make my Pindari horsemen not skirmish. Run my camels behind, so if they are trying to target my... Oh no, they aren't actually engaging me as per normal. Bring my horsemen onto this flank, because these are camel nomads, so they can skirmish them. Handful of men. I could really do with you guys reloading or doing something. I'll give them another volley. They missed all of their camels. run over here behind this infantry you sh might be able to actually get some shots off on these camels let's just let them trade okay they're wavering under my musket fire but I doubt we'll make them actually rout it's very handy they are going flank on They're routing, but they might not stay routing. Okay, in come the camel nomads. Can okay, you guys get back out? Because they're just camel gunners. 
stuff really. I think I've got to commit my camels to do something or else my infantry is just going to break. Damn right these camel gunners are routing, because they should be getting shot in the back. Yeah, my, my captain died. Which isn't great. Give me some Andari horsemen. Let's get involved. When you guys, you guys should be able to do a great volley into the flank of that unit, but for whatever reason, you're refusing to shoot. Oh yeah, this is done. Oh yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Stupid little battles. <laughs> oh, I was hoping the AI would be dumb. God, they, they, they lost half their number. Yeah, let's magic together. That'll teach me to try different tactics. That was pretty dumb though. Gotta go more combined arms. Governor's buildings built in Greece. 2,000. So I did say I wanted to invest in industry. The question is, do I... Let's build an anchor. May as well. You guys are still replenishing. You guys are replenishing now. These, these buildings are only lightly damaged, so... We can do a bit of a, re a, a um, re re rebuilding spree. Yeah, Austria won't peace out. One more turn till we get next level military buildings. Barracks. And I'll build one of those in Baghdad for sure. But then I'll immediately want to start. Um, well, I'll, I'll have to build my military building so I can research fiber rank and go back and research European doctrine to get the get ottoman line infantry like true ottoman line infantry i would still want to do the whole you know lean heavily into the melee component because that's quite fun but i would be a fool to ignore the fact that i can get decent quality line infantry as the ottomans <laughs> desperately hammering it up the, up the road trying to get to Yerevan and they're going to sally out and attack me so let's do that to secure the northern flank gives me access to another university but I don't know if I want to keep it like that because Georgia will be mightily angry early game oh this is beautiful there you go our lone gun Damn, that's a very small Fellini unit. Shouldn't have picked you up. There we go. Yeah, my Israeli. Oh god, you're also. Okay, let's deploy you guys out first. You guys out next to them. Let's put the Fellini. And these guys up on this flank. I could build defences, but. I don't think it's going to matter a whole lot. You guys just hunker down and be ready. General in the centre. Okie doke. Pivot the position. These bashy bazooks get more out on the flank. So I might want to do some sneaky shenanigans with them. Run the semis out on the flank. Make sure all my fellow Ian don't chase after them. Okie dokie. So my lone gunner is going to 
plink at the camels. Actually, don't go too far out because they've got still got sneaky, sneaky camel nomads. So definitely push up. It looks like they want to. It looks like they more or less want to solely focus on this flank. And I'm not saying it's a, necessarily a bad idea, but you know, I'm just not going to let them have their way. Recording these little glitches. Yeah, their camels are very upset. And it would be awfully nice of them if they charged the only unit I had with square formation. <laughs> my bashies even had really had, a, had enough time to do much good that's right man step over the dead bodies of your comrades run these guys closer Assemblies become that much more effective. Come on, man. Just open up on them. I mean, most of you just sat here doing nothing, but you know, you could do some good stuff. Mm, trying to be sneaky, eh? This is what Bashi Bazooks are for. They don't do sneaky, they do chopping heads off. No shooting. Oh no, they're going to hunker down just in front. Okay. Send the Bashis in against the Desert Warriors. Let's see if they can make it before they're out. They will take a volley. My men are still confident. And they're in. Slash and dice. Actually, my, my bashes are doing. They're doing worse. Probably to do with these guys. Yeah, there they go. Where's everyone? I oh, know it was a garrison unit. Charge my general with a garrison unit. Let's make sure everyone stops shooting so they don't kill him. But my objective is now just to rank up my. Why is it not? Oh, okay, they came back. So the point isn't to go and kill, isn't to kill, isn't to kill everyone now. It's to get some chevrons on my general. He's not really done a whole lot. If I can get out to two, that'd be great. But I wouldn't be surprised if he does not make it. So there's 63 men. It's a good old chunk. He's already, well, he's recently got made up to one, so he might actually have a, a shot. Come on, son. Nah. 
That wasn't close. Not close. Take the win. Yeah, so you're going to go down and raid Baghdad. That's okay. I'm surprised they didn't kill our ship. So that's going to impact our trade. Which is a bit frustrating. But that's why we're building that army in Baghdad itself. So we can send them south. To clear it out. Because chances are they'll raid back north anyway. So it's not a massive concern. Yep, you raid Basra. You might even stay there, to be honest. Build some feline and a cannon. Okay, build a drill school. Oh, that's all our money. Just need to stop building the cannon. And building this infantry then. So Egypt got a trade port. And hmm. What else can we buy that's worth buying? You've got my, this Imam here, who doesn't really need to be here. Dead home. Eh, I suppose I do this. Do we get the Grand Admiralty? Because it gets me that research points for military tech. Ah, oh, damn. Did I send the wrong damn agent over? Okay, you go down there. So don't research carbines. Waste of time. You want something that takes three turns. Two turns, four turns, two turns. Okay, so maybe Konya takes over and does... something like the Spinning Jenny, and you take over Division of Labour. Although not that it really matters that much. Yep, so you've got Military Syllabus. Military Syllabus means we can research Delhi Horsemen, Royal Mamluk Guards, oh that's it, for now anyway. Mm. Yeah, it's complaining that the armies are ravaging our lands. So you're marching north to try and intercept my dudes, so I'll go north in the same step. Pop these guys on to replenish for another turn. Do you recruit a unit? No, I don't think I do. Do you upgrade this fishery just to get population wealth? And it does help. Well, I presume it helps. It certainly helps my um, population growth. Yeah, actually, can go for these cheap wins to get more. Re get more military research points. Mm, Greece doesn't even have a basic port. Doesn't even have a basic um, cobbled roads, rather. Let's try and make peace with France again. Not France, Russia. Dang. But yeah, they're sending everything they got up here to try and protect Yerevan. Um, I may actually start recruiting another unit of... Oh, might have to be 18 pounders. Get some more artillery up here to help support this northern force. Yeah, it says forces in Iraq. Okie dokie. Let's hit and turn and see what happens. And then I'll probably be... Well, I'm over, over length, so... Hey, the Russians, the Brits are attacking somewhere in the Baltic. That's pretty cool. But let's see how this whole situation plays out. Oh, that's a big force heading north, but they can't head all the way. See? Oh, okay, so another army's slipped in to the south. Looks like they actually they might get to the city. Oh, I don't want to fight it. So <sighs> oh, ura, ura. Yeah, we lost 300 men. <laughs> uh, I was tempted to save scum it, but I hate save scumming it. <laughs> what 
water is enough. Yeah, we're never going to win. That that ship was just there to hold the port, not do anything else. So they're going to come north and recombine. They're going to go around and raid, so my army in the city has to immediately leave to go and intercept them. My army that I did send north to support needs to now head south with all speed, because it looks like they're going to go hit Baghdad. And I think it might be the stack that's just a bunch of Israelis. Yeah, right away. You won't have it for long. So rebuild the magistrates. Yeah, our trade's been hit a lot. So you're not going to get down to Baghdad in time. You're pretty depleted if you go for it. You're just a bunch of bog standard infantry. Granted, we've got bog standard infantry. These guys to replenish, to move out to here, to go and engage this raiding army. But, looking at the timer, I am well over. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.